Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a Windows system image backup and then also how to restore it using the free mini tool shadow maker program. So they do have a professional version with a lot more options, but this works just fine when it comes to doing your backup images. All right, so once you download and install it, simply open it up. You'll have your categories here, home, backup, sync, restore, and so on. All right, so if we go to the backup section, we can see we have a source and a destination, and I'll show you what we're gonna do here. So I have a secondary drive on this computer with a backups folder. I already have a earlier backup in there. And so we're gonna back up the C drive, the Windows drive, to an image and then restore it. So there's a couple ways you could do it. So when you go to the tools section here, you could add a boot menu to your computer, so that way every time you start your computer, you could either boot into Windows or open the Shadow Maker Recovery Console. So this comes in handy if it's something you're going to use a lot, uh, but if not, you might not want to do this because then you have to deal with that boot menu, and if you ignore it, it'll automatically boot into Windows anyways. And then we also have the Media Builder. So what this will do, it will create an ISO file for you that you could put on a flash drive or a CD DVD if you're still using one of those and that way you'll have a bootable version of Minitool that you could boot your computer from. So you can make an ISO file, do it right to a flash drive, or create a CD DVD. And I already have that created here. And once you have this created, you could use something like Rufus to put it on a bootable flash drive. Or you could use the flash drive option right here and do it right on the spot or put it on a CD. Okay, so you do have to do one of those two steps. Either add the boot menu or create your bootable media. And then once that's done, you could go back to backup and do your backup. So we'll select our source here. We're going to do disks and partitions. You could do folder and file backups too, but this video is about doing a system image backup. All right, so here is our source drive here with Windows, 80 gig drive, and we're gonna select all of these partitions here. I'm not sure why it doesn't select them all by default, but we're gonna select them all since we're doing a Windows system image. And then we're gonna click on OK. And then the destination folder. We're gonna put it in the backups folder here. And then once that is set, you just click on Backup Now. You could change the task name if you want, or you could back it up later. So we're going to click Backup Now. All right, so there's my earlier backup. So this is the new backup task here, and it's going to be putting it in this Backups folder. Going right there. All right, so this process will take several minutes, so I will pause the video and then be back when it's complete. All right, so our backup is complete. And then once you have your backup, you'll notice here you could do the drop down if you want to run it again, do a full incremental or differential. You could do that, and then you have some options here. If you want to delete it, verify the image just to make sure it's good. Uh, so that way when you do a restore, you'll know it's going to work. Browse the image here. But to do that, it tells you you need to mount it. And that's another option here. Select your backup version. We got this one here. We'll click on Next. We're just going to mount the C drive here. And now you can see it mounts it as this local disk using the next drive letter. And then if we needed to get some specific files off of an image, rather than restore the whole thing, uh, we could do so. Let's say we wanted to go into our documents here, for example, and just, you know, copy to the desktop. And now we have that on the desktop. Okay, so now we're going to restore an image. So before we do that, let me get rid of this. I put a new file here. All right, so we're going to restore the image that was made before this file was added. So after the restoration is complete, this file should be gone. 
All right, so if we come here, we could click on Restore and Next and Next. This is the one we want to restore. We click on Start. Then it says you need to create and reboot from a boot disk in order to restore the system disk. So that is the reason why we have those other options to have the boot menu or the ISO file. So I just wanted to show you that you can't actually restore your Windows system disk within the GUI here. If it was a different kind of backup or a different drive that you made a uh, drive backup of, you could do so. So we're going to get out of here. All right, so now what we're going to do is just do a restart. So you have two options here. You could boot to your ISO file that you put on your flash drive, or if you set up the boot menu, you could just use that. Either way, it will take you to the same interface. So I'm just going to show you how the boot menu works by restarting here. All right, so it looks like it's going into Windows, but it's actually not. So here are our options here, and you have 30 seconds to pick one, otherwise it'll automatically go into Windows 11. So we're going to pick the Mini Tool Recovery Environment. All right, so you get this message here about changing the screen resolution. So we'll just click OK, or you can let it time out, and then starting the app, we'll just click OK. Okay, so we have our home section here, but if you click on it, it shows you that this feature is only included in the Pro version, the same with some of these other ones here too. Okay, so if we click on Add Backup, we could browse to our backup location, which was on the E drive here in the Backups folder. Now, one thing you might want to do is rename these when you back them up so it makes more sense here. So we're going to select this one here, click on OK, click on Restore. All right, here's our backup version. We only have the one backup. We didn't do any full or differential backups, so we only have one option. Select all the partitions here. Select a target disk. So the target disk is going to be the same C drive that it was made on. So we're going to overwrite the current installation of Windows here with our image from the backup. So data in the following partitions on the target disk will be overwritten, which is fine. All right, so it's doing some calculations. So once again, this will take a little while, so we'll have to pause the video once again. Then you have the option to shut down the computer when the operation is complete. All right, so I'll be back when the image is done restoring. Okay, so the restoration has completed successfully. It took 51 minutes. So I will say this is quite a bit longer than some of the other backup programs I have tested take when it comes to restoring system images. So you'll have to see if you have that same problem, and if so, maybe, you know, Think about trying something else or if you're okay with just walking away and doing something else while it's restoring that's fine too all right we'll click on okay and then finish all right so now i will boot back into windows normally and then we'll see if the image restoration worked okay so if you are using this method uh, you'll have to click on windows 11 this time and then when we're back in windows i'll show you how to remove this boot option here all right, so let's go back into Shadow Maker. Okay, so we'll go into the Tools section here, and then the Boot menu. And now you can see we have an option to delete the Boot menu, so we'll get rid of that. All right, so that's deleted. So now, 
Next time you reboot, you will not have that option. So you'll either have to come here and add it back before you have a problem or just keep your ISO file or your flash drive uh, somewhere handy so you could boot to it in case you need to do an emergency restoration. All right, so once again, just go to backup. You might want to change the name like I mentioned before. Click your source here. So disks and partitions. Check the boxes here. Choose your destination. And then just click on Backup Now. And then if you need to restore it, either go into your Windows Boot Menu option there if you have it configured, or boot to your flash drive or CD and do your restoration, and you'll be back in business. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download Minitool Shadow Maker free, and you can try it yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.